Carissa Pavlika, TV fanatic. Hello, Hi, Carissa. Brooklyn and Jim. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice Hi, to meet you. Brooklyn, with even with a new story on her hands, Hildy is clinging to finding the fate of Richie. What's driving her to do that? I think in the first season, you see that she learns about her dad's past and she wants to help her dad, but I think this season she's, she kind of wants to finish what she started and she's attached herself to Richie. And she, she doesn't only want to get closure for her dad, but she wants to get closure, closure for herself and she wants to get closure for the town. Um, I think that her new story, story while being exciting, I think um, she, she still believes that Richie is still out there. And I think she still um, wants to focus on that too. And Jim, it seems like Matt is trying to pull Brooklyn, Hildy away from that particular investigation. What is his thought process behind trying to distance her from Richie's fate? I think he kind of can see the damage that it caused him as a child. You know, the whole Richie Five saga and, and the pain that it caused him and the fact that he sort of almost lost his childhood because of that traumatic event. And I think he knows Hildy inside out and he knows that she's becoming obsessed in this story and how damaging that can be for her and for her childhood. So he's really trying to sort of steer her away and try and, and try and sort of put a full stop on the whole chapter, I think, and see if he can sort of settle his family into the, into the town and, and just sort of try and put all that stuff behind them. But I think he knows deep down that he can't do that. And I think he knows deep down that Hildy can't do that either. But he's and trying settling, to do the right thing. Settling them into this particular town maybe isn't as easy as it would seem had they chosen somewhere else to live. <laughs> it turns out that's true, yeah. <laughs> and Pop Pop moves in with the family during season two. Um, Jim, why don't you start? How does this affect the storyline and the family? Well, there's a sort of looming presence of his mental health, you know, that, 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 that he is sort of declining as he's getting older and he's getting sicker. And, and that sort of hangs over the whole family and, it's, and it, it has a very big impact emotionally on both Matt and Hildy and the rest of the family. And sort of having him there in the house really kind of enhances the idea that this is sort of perhaps their last, their last moments with him, you know. And, uh, and I think that, you know, that affects Hildy in a very sort of uh, personal and, and emotional way. And, and it does, Brooklyn, how does too. that? And it, oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, but what, what's great is that it sort of, it puts Matt in a position of where he, he's not only a father in the household, but he's also a son. You know, he's also a child himself in that house, you know, because that is his dad's house and that's where he grew up. And so, yeah, he, there's this sort of duality of him being a, a, a parent, but also being being the child in that moment too. And the show is great at that sort of cyclical nature. Sorry, I keep it. No, that's okay. You, but, uh, that's okay. That's but no, perfect. that 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 cycle of, of life is is so sort of present in the show, and 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 I love it for that. You know, the you know, the kids are learning off the adults. The adults are also kids themselves to another adult. You know, and but Matt is actually taking care of his dad in the way that his dad took care of him when he was a child, and and just the way that life sort of evolves and goes round and round like that is is interesting and that's what i want to know from you brooklyn is what do you think hildy is feeling knowing that her father cares for her in much the same way now that her father is also carrying caring for pop pop so it's kind of how is she affected by that circle of life i think hildy almost everything she does this season is for Pop Pop. She loves Pop Pop so much. And I think she sees her dad having trouble. I mean, she, he loves, she sees his, her dad making new memories with his dad and um, getting, getting farther. And I think she likes seeing that, but I also think she sees Matt also regretting going to New York and like, staying away from him for so long. And so I think she she sort of has to be there for him and be 
kind of a support guide for him to, you know, bring him back and kind of distract him from the fact that his father's possible last days might be, you know, just a few weeks that he spent with his dad. I also think that Hildy is affected by Pop Pop too, and by his um, health declining. So I think it's it's tough for Matt and Hildy. And Hildy's going through some more growing pains as well. She's kind of challenged between being a reporter and maintaining her personal relationships. Can you talk a little bit about her and her friends and family? So in season one, Hildy's like all about the truth. She meets her friends. She kind of drags her friends along with this, this goose chase she's on. Um, so now she's learning that she doesn't, she's not only Donnie and Spoon aren't only her friends that report with her. They're her friends that will be there for her no matter the situation, no matter this or that. And she has to learn that she has to be that kind of friend too. And she has to learn how to be a big sister. And she has to learn how to be a little sister that's not nagging at her sister all the time. She has to, this season, I think she learns a lot about personal relationships and how that kind of works in the world. And Jim, why do you think that Matt and Bridget find it so, or how do you think that they find it, that they are watching their daughter kind of lurch into danger all the time? Yeah, that's the sort of complex thing of being a parent and being a parent like Matt and Bridget. You know, they're, they're liberal in their sort of ideas about how to raise their children. Um, and I, I, yeah, I do think it's a sort of, pull with Matt sort of emotionally and, and when he decides to step in as a parent and sort of guide her. But I think at the same time, you know, he sees the good goodness that's coming out of her investigations and that she's actually getting to the truth and getting to the, to the depth of what the problems are in the town and that she can actually make a difference. So I think, you know, he, he definitely is there to sort of help and support her and sort of push her to sort of keep going, you know what I mean? Even though it is potentially sort of dangerous in, at times and in places, but, you know, I'd like to think that he's always there keeping an eye on it. And if anything got a bit too hairy, he would be there to sort of step in and, and, and help, you know, resolve the situation. Well, thank you both so much for taking time with us today. Thank, thank you, you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you. All right. Cheers.